Good morning, we're live in business. Dr. Seuss's birthday, and we're celebrating in a big way. Do you have a favorite book that you love? Well, we're gonna tell you when you should read it, how you should celebrate, and get this. It's Read Across America Week. We're gonna tell you what they're doing here in Honolulu Elementary, coming up live on Fox 5. Fox 5. Chrissy Bakey local schools are celebrating Read Across America Day and Dr. Seuss's birthday. Heather Lacey is live in Vista now with the students at Hanalei Elementary School. Heather, hi. Hi, good morning. Yeah, we're in Vista, otherwise known as Seuss Land today. So if you take a look around this school, Hanalei Elementary has gotten ready for Dr. Seuss's birthday in a very big way. And they're celebrating with a really fun spirit day. It's hat day and I got the memo. So uh, we're all wearing our Seuss hats. This is really fun. So Eric Cor Corporal, you are the principal here and so much fun. So all week long, you've been doing Read Across America Week with schools really all over the country. Right. What have you guys been doing? We'll be just doing a lot of different activities, all um, centered around trying to get kids to love reading and get them to motivated to read. Um, we've had spirit days every day, different crazy hats, <laughs> crazy socks. Um, every single day we do some drop everything and read. And today we have some special role models from the armed services coming out. They're going to be reading with kids in the classroom. Um, we've got some reading on the green. Kids are going to come out and read outside. And today all of their parents are invited in for lunch to read with them with their favorite books. So it's just all about getting kids to love reading. Yeah, I was going to ask you, did you just have this in your closet? Or is this something that you got prepped for for Dr. Seuss's big birthday tomorrow? My regular wear. No, this is definitely prepped for Dr. Seuss's birthday yeah. tomorrow. You know, like you said, kids all across the nation are celebrating today because yeah. Dr. Seuss is probably one of the most beloved children's authors. Yeah, so and Theodore Geisel from uh, La Jolla, San Diego, right here in our backyard. And uh, pretty cool. I actually was able to do a story about one of his books, What Pet Should I Get? Because uh, it was just recently published. I think the last five years or something yeah. after he had passed. And so it was kind of cool because they were able to find all those old documents and um, put that book together afterwards. So that was a really fun story. Look at these students though. And I love the craft that you guys were able to do with the hats. Uh, parents watching at home may be something fun for them to do. So you use great. the back of a paper plate and um, some construction paper and voila. Was this a fun craft to do? Yes. Yeah, was it hard? Uh, we didn't do it though. You didn't? Well, I like your honesty, um, uh, but I'm glad that you're wearing it because it looks wonderful. Okay, favorite books. I brought uh, this is Walk It in My Pocket, which is one of my favorites. Millie, the librarian, let me borrow uh, her copy today. Is this your favorite as well? I see we have the same one. Yes, it is my favorite. I brought it from home. And who do you love reading with? Either my friend or my dog. Oh, your dog. And he listens pretty well? Yeah, she listens because she <laughs> just wants attention. Oh, how rude of me. I didn't let you guys introduce yourself. What's your name and what grade are you in? My name is Kaylin, and I'm a fourth grader in Miss Smith's class. Okay, and what about you? My name is Amelia, and I'm a fifth grader in Mrs. Tagbean's class. And? My name is Fernando, and I'm a fifth grader in Miss Marlingo's class. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Um, favorite thing about this week, as far as Spirit Week has gone? My favorite was... Um, um, read my shirt day because I wrote a crazy word on my shirt and see and I saw if some if people could read it and what was it? It was hippopotamonstrosesquipedaliophobia. Oh, okay. Can you spell it? No. no. <laughs> I didn't mean to get you there. That's awesome. And what about you? Let's see. What book do you have? You're the only one without Dr. Seuss. What is this book about? He picked it. It's um, about Gerald and Piggy, like Gerald, like Piggy celebrating about like Pig Day, yeah. and Gerald's not a pig, so he's not happy about it. <laughs> I love it. You guys are so well spoken. I love letting kids talk on TV because it just gives them an opportunity to open up. And I'm glad that we're going to read today. We're going to go into a classroom uh, and read in just a little bit because that's what you guys are doing today. You've got yeah. a lot of people on campus having a good time. Thanks for having me out here. You're and uh, yeah, great. absolutely. Yeah. Okay, more information on Read Across America Day and Dr. Seuss's birthday. It's actually all tomorrow, but we celebrating schools today because we're not in school on Saturday. Happy Friday, you guys. We'll send it back to you in the studio for now. Thank you, Heather. Thank you. Reading Dr. Seuss to little kids is so fun because yeah. the rhymes, one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Okay, the Jonas Brothers. Christina, are you excited? They're 